The Lazarev Koltsar caught widespread attention for its seemingly revolutionary challenge to the foundational principles of thermodynamics, all packaged in a deceptively simple design. At first glance, the Koltsar appears to defy the second law of thermodynamics, which states that no system can continuously convert ambient energy into work without increasing entropy. This device reportedly operates by harnessing small, often imperceptible energy sources like temperature gradients, evaporation condensation cycles, or capillary action. Its ability to utilize these subtle forces to maintain continuous motion has sparked intrigue as it blurs the line between conventional machines and energy harvesting systems. So, how does the Lazarev Koltsar work? The device consists of a container divided into two chambers by a porous membrane, such as wood fibers or ceramic, with a tube connecting the lower chamber to the upper one. Liquid, like water or a volatile fluid, seeps downward through the membrane due to gravity and capillary action, drawn by the fine pores. Meanwhile, slight temperature or pressure differences in the lower chamber cause the liquid to vaporize. This vapor moves upward through the tube, condensing in the upper chamber and replenishing the liquid. This cycle creates the illusion of a self-sustaining pump, as the fluid appears to move against gravity. The key lies in the clever use of capillary forces and phase transitions to maintain fluid movement, highlighting a fascinating energy harvesting mechanism, rather than a violation of physical laws. While impressive, the Lazarev Koltsar is not a true perpetual motion machine. It relies on external energy sources and cannot sustain operation indefinitely in a fully isolated system. 